Hi, this is Randy again, and I've got my uh, what I'm going to call my first tree frog print. Uh, this is one of the hard to print uh, files I found on Thingverse, and um, I've had several false starts, but uh, I think I've got it printing now. I'm using a 0.25 millimeter layer height. And uh, so I wanted to show, first of all, some of the fails that I had. So the first time, I could not get the plastic to adhere at all. Now, I originally thought the problem was that the plastic was sticking to the glass too much, and that's why people put tape on it, but that's not the case. It turns out the plastic doesn't stick to the glass, so people put, put uh, painter's tape and various things. I've sprayed hairspray, and it's uh, been pretty good. Pretty good. <clears throat> the plastic is sticking to the glass, and like I said, my first attempts were horrible. And I found that I had uh, bad settings in Slice 3R. So I went back and I changed my layer height in Slice 3R to something less than 0.35 millimeters because that's what my nozzle size was. And I went down to, I think, 0.25. <clears throat> for high resolution, I've gone as low as 0.1. But for this frog, I'm using 0.25 uh, uh, layer height. And I had several frogs that I printed. And, and halfway through the print, it would, would slide in the X direction. So here's another one that I got some X slide on. Um, I turned up the current in my x-axis just a little bit and it seems to have made that problem go away. Now I noticed my steppers were getting a little bit hot so on the back, uh, see if you can see, I've mounted heat sinks on all the steppers and I've got a fan blowing across them. I'm going to print a fan holder next. Um, so I tried tuning all the steppers. I told you in one of my earlier videos that you needed to be careful with the current limit. And so you start off turning them to the left until the steppers don't run and then you gradually increase. I made a little STL file that, uh, sorry, I made a G-code file where the would drive the print uh, X back and forth, back and forth, back and forth, over and over again. And I adjusted with the, uh, the screwdriver the potentiometer until I got as little noise as possible in the driver. So if you go too far to the right, it starts knocking. And if you go too far to the left, it starts skipping. So you want to find a happy spot in between. And I thought I'd found a really quiet spot from X-axis but that's the spot that was slipping so as you can see like I said look at look at this frog it's the <clears throat> the best example I mean, it was really horrible I would kill the print once I realized that the printer had slipped um, and I printed several of the thin wall I used the 0.5 millimeter thin wall tests I used another one and I measured it and it's about 0.6 millimeters and I've tried compensating for that in slice 3R I'll maybe go into that in another video but uh, at the moment I'm just going to leave it as is it's a little bit thicker than the 0.5 but it's still pretty good the walls are really smooth and uh, I'm pretty happy with it so uh, like I said lots of false starts don't get discouraged if this happens to you just um, keep playing with the settings and trying until you get it right